In the papers today, the International Monetary Fund has warned that workers should be forced to delay their retirements or the national debt will spiral out of control. Based on an average of increased longevity of just three years, the organisation's Global Financial Stability Report warned the consequences could cripple public finances as the cost of pensions and healthcare soars. It suggests linking the retirement age to life expectancy, higher contributions into pension pots from employers and employees, and smaller payouts for those in old age, options currently being considered in Downing Street. The North-South divide is very much still in evidence according to Standard & Poor's. It reports the proportion of homeowners whose properties are worth less than their mortgages has soared in the last 18 months, with the North suffering the most. Between 2010 and 2011, the percentage of borrowers in negative equity has risen from 6% to 8.5% in the North, which is equivalent to 1 in 12 households, compared to an increase of just 3.6% to 5.6% in the South. In addition, higher un unemployment in the North means borrowers are 30% more likely to be in arrears than those in the South. And the race to become the next Governor of the Bank of England has taken a new twist after Peter Sands, the Chief Executive of Standard Chartered Bank, ruled himself out of running for the role. The announcement ends speculation he was positioning himself for a tilt at the role, which becomes available in June 2013 at the end of Mervyn King's second term. He made the decision to stop speculation and risk destabilising the bank's share price, although the announcement leaves the bank Deputy Governor Paul Tucker in pole position and it's not clear whether the Prime Minister and the Chancellor will advertise the job publicly or choose a replacement themselves.